To log in to your MyHine account, enter your username and password under MyHine from the welcome screen and click Login. You can also log in from inside a library. To show you this, I'm going to go to a new tab here that I already have open. And from the tab navigation menu, we're going to click on the MyHine tab. This will load our MyHine options in the left sidebar where we can enter our username and password and click Login. If the top of the menu says Welcome, followed by your name, then this means that you are logged in. If it says Welcome Guest, this indicates that you are not yet logged in to your MyHine account. From the MyHine menu, you can access your saved bookmarks and your search queries. You can also find additional help for using MyHine, which includes a link to the MyHine User's Guide. You can also find the Log Out option on the MyHine menu to log out of your MyHine account. Now let's look at how to save bookmarks and search queries to your MyHine account. First, we'll look at bookmarking an article. We're already in the Law Journal Library, therefore let's open the citation to Volume 90 of the Harvard Law Review, page 489. This will open an article titled State Constitutions and the Protection of Individual Rights by William Brennan, Jr. In the page toolbar above the page, you'll notice a new feature called Bookmark. This is specifically for MyHine. To bookmark your current section or article, simply click on Bookmark from the toolbar. After you click on it, you'll be prompted to select a pre-existing tag that you've already created, or you can create a new one. In this case, let's create a new one and name it State Constitutions. Then click Save to MyHine Bookmarks. Now we have paged through this article and found a citation on page 491 that we want to bookmark. It appears in the fourth footnote on this page. I'm going to hit the Citations on Page feature. Then I'm going to scroll back down to the bottom of the page where I can click on the link to that citation. And this will open the Supreme Court case Harper versus the Virginia State Board in the U.S. Reports. Now let's bookmark this case and name the tag Supreme Court Cases Regarding State Constitutions. And click Save to my hind bookmarks. Now let's look at our saved bookmarks. Click on the MyHind tab and then click on the link to saved bookmarks. This will load all of our saved bookmarks in our primary window. Our bookmarks are organized by the tags we created and the tags are sorted alphabetically. Each bookmark will display the citation to the article, the article name, and an author if it's available, as well as the timestamp of the date of the entry. From this list, we can edit the tag of a bookmark. The article you choose to edit will be displayed at the top, as well as the current tag that is applied. You can move it to another pre-existing tag, or you can create a new tag. You can also choose to delete a bookmark. But don't worry, if you accidentally click on Delete, we'll ask you to confirm your selection. If you wish to print or download a bookmark, you can click on the Print Download Options, and the options will open in a new window. Now let's take a look at bookmarking articles and search queries from our search results. I'm going to go back to the Law Journal Library, where we're going to search for symposiums about economic development that have been published since 2002. So let's open the Field Search option and we're going to enter Symposium in the first search box and select Description from the drop-down menu. And in the next box we're going to enter Economic Development in the Title field. And then we're going to narrow the years from 2002 to 2008. 
and click search. From our search results, we can bookmark articles and we can even bookmark our search query. In browsing through our results, let's bookmark our first result by checking the box. Then we'll check our sixth result. And finally, we'll check the 14th result. After checking the results we want, we're going to scroll to the bottom of the page and from the drop down menu, select Save to My Hind Bookmarks. Then we can create a new tag or select an existing one. Since this is a new topic, let's create a new tag called Economic Development Symposiums. And then click Enter into Research. And then let's just take a quick look at the bookmarks to see the results we saved. and we'll see all three results listed under the Economic Development tag. Now let's go back and bookmark our search so that with every monthly content release, we can recheck to see if any new symposium issues were added to the law journals about economic development. From the drop-down menu, select Save to My Hind Search Queries, and then we're going to choose the same tag that we used when we saved our bookmarks, Economic Development Symposiums, and click Enter into Research. To view our safe search queries, we can click on the search queries link from the My Hind menu. Each search query will display the library that the search was run in, in this case the Law Journal library, followed by the syntax that was searched for. And as you can with bookmarks, you can edit the tags or you can delete a query. To rerun a search at any time, all you have to do is simply click on the query from your MyHind search queries list, and it will automatically generate the search. This wraps up our demo of MyHind. Remember, when you are done researching and working with MyHind, always log out of your MyHind account to protect your personal information. Think of it just as you would your email account. If you have any questions about my hine, feel free to contact us at hol support at wshine.com.